What's good, y'all? It's the Dumachettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. I was given more than 10 names on the day of my birth, and I have earned many since. Maleta, Mamda Gwende, Kwangeshe, Vilimbe. These are the names of my forefathers who made everyday history. They are knitted into my breath. It is how I introduce myself. Clan names are how we carry the past to meet ourselves. South Africa is the place of many names. We peek through the majestic God's window to read stories preserved for us in rocks and sand dunes. We grind secrets and healing out of the plants which are native to this place. Caves are breathtaking gallery walls exhibiting our history. In bodies of water, from the mouth of the Limpopo River into the Indian Ocean are traces of how the country maps itself. We ask Grand Mountains to tell us how they call themselves. And the Drakensberg is not just Drakensberg, it is Unkashaba, the barrier of spears. Table Mountain is Urikwaho, the beautiful mountain in the sea, a monument to the first people of this place. I wonder if animals have their own clan names, Midupo, and whether elephants, for all their memory, remember the stories their own ancestors witnessed. In Africa, Burwa, we trace blood that flows back for centuries through shared names. It is how we make family. We are not done creating history. In the scraps that remain, we quilt ourselves into exquisite print. In the Khedekhta, in Likis, poems and songs that we write, the fashion that reimagines village tradition, the township lives framed in high resolution, skyscrapers like vibrant graffiti against a wall every day. We write new names. And many of us know this place by one name, home. But we are always ready to make new family, to add new names in the fabric of our story, like yours. I couldn't even stop this if I wanted to. That was tough. It really was. And what was this lesson called? I felt like she was just teaching us everything we needed to know in a whole new, deeper deeper perspective like yeah place she of cooked names. gosh she cooked yeah um one of the things that she said that stood out to me was about the townships now being in high resolution because another part she said was about they're not done writing history right and you know mm -hmm. it's like understanding their history and knowing that every day is a work in progress here there everywhere but just knowing their history and her saying that line, the townships are now in high resolution. We know how the townships were created, how, you know, like we get to see where they are today. Yeah. Especially knowing what brought them there, you know, and like seeing some of the things. We don't know all the things that came out of it, but we do know like one of the sports that came out of it. The the spinning, the... The, the cars. Uh, yeah, the cars spinning and the bicycles and the fighting. I don't know what the fighting is called, but the fighting, y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about. Um, just to see how the people are just so resilient in building up the townships, you know? Yeah, yeah. Her content alone was just beautiful, though, man. She really came together and painted a picture without even having to look at the visual that she mm. had for us, her words alone, and how powerful she stood, you know what I'm saying? She's like a voice for hope for the people. Yeah, so yeah. So let people have a real feeling of what it feels like to be in South Africa like that. She, she really I need more content we need more content yeah. from her because that was nice that was that deep really was. that was deep it really was like y'all know we always stop and we always say okay well, what does this mean and mm -hmm. things like that we, we couldn't stop for this one yeah. um, it was just beautifully written poetic you know? 
um, showed us some things that we've seen before, but in a different way, you know, just how things have different meanings. And we know South Africa is home to many people, Yeah. you know, and just knowing the type of people that y'all are, y'all are welcoming and how she said at the end that it's our home, but we, we yeah. are a part of your story too. Yeah. So it's like, it's not, just beautiful. Yeah, not just that though, because she mentioned that um she has many names. Yeah, right? her name. And I feel like that's how you guys treat us as well. We yeah. come together and we get to talking and y'all just start naming on us. Like, mm -hmm. we have a list already of many names that y'all guys gave us. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful thing and it's so real because for her to mention that and we have that same relationship with y'all, it's nice to see that that's a real thing. It's, it's true. It's really, really true. Yes, the more we watch, the more we're ready. Yeah, facts, ready. facts. Okay. We hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.